Welcome back to the Shallow Books YouTube channel. My name is Oriana and I am the jefa of Shallow Books, an independent online bookstore dedicated to the promotion of BIPOC stories and authors. Today I've got a great book recommendation for y'all to enjoy. Um, and before anything, don't forget to check out shallowbooks.com where you can find the book that I'm going to talk about today. Let's get to it. So today I'm going to be talking about Elizabeth Acevedo's Clap When You Land. And Elizabeth Acevedo, for those who don't know, is a National Poetry Slam champion. And she also won the National Book Award for her first debut book, um, The Poet X. Also a great book that I highly recommend. But today I'm going to be breaking down Clap When You Land. Clap When You Land is a novel in verse that follows the stories of two sisters, uh, Yahaira and Camino, um, who find out that their father has tragically died in a plane accident um, on his way from New York City to the Dominican Republic. Now, Camino lives in the Dominican Republic with her tia, while Yahaira lives in New York City with her mother. And the twist is that they don't know that they are sisters until their father's tragic death. So that premise alone had me very much hooked. But Elizabeth Acevedo just does an exceptional job throughout this book of exploring the complexities of love and grief and what it means to be a familia. So I think one of Acevedo's great strengths throughout the book is her writing of the characters because they all felt so real. They all demonstrated a complexity of emotions and thoughts that I just really connected with um, and felt like they were so real. I felt like none of it was fabricated in a way to to smooth over the the tragicness that was this loss of their father. And being able to write complex, nuanced, real characters is super important for this book because this book is for young adults. And I think that more books for young adults need to be written in a way that demonstrate that people are flawed. People have a spectrum of emotions that we don't know how to handle properly um, and that it's okay and it's okay to lean on your support system around you, um, the love that's being reached out to you in times of need like this. And so I applaud um, that challenge that Asagura took on with this book. She did it exceptionally well. And of the many things in this book, the one that particularly resonated with me is the idea of unconventional sisterhood. Like I mentioned before, Yahaira and Camino don't know that they are sisters until their father's death. Um, but it also, the theme of unconventional sisterhood uh, appears in other ways in the relationships that the protagonists have with uh, some fellow female friends or maybe uh, female partners. And I, I think that's also an important theme to present for folks who are younger um, in, the, in the YA demographic because sometimes, you know, we aren't graced with having a sister, but sometimes you need that, that sorority, that, that support, the unconditional support of a sister-like figure to get through um, some really tough times. And I think that's what resonated the most with me, especially because I read this at the start of the uh, COVID pandemic, and I just found myself resonate, uh, reminiscing a lot about my own unconventional sisterhood um, relationships that I had, be it with my uh, female cousins that I consider to be, you know, quasi sisters, um, or the the really close uh, female friendships that I've developed over time that have really gotten me through the toughest of tough times and I always thank them so much for it and I'm glad that those types of stories got presented in a book like this. Overall this book is absolutely exceptional, a total 10 out of 10. I've always been a fan of Elizabeth Acevedo's work. Um, I'm so glad that everyone is loving the book as much as I am um, so please go and check it out on unshillabooks.com as it'll be there for you to order and of course thank you so much for uh, watching this video and I've got other great recommendations for y'all and the Shola Books recommendation playlist so go check those out as well. All right, hasta luego. Bye chicos.